It's time to learn how to do the knit stitch continental style. This type of knitting holds the yarn in your left hand. If you learn to crochet first, this is probably the method that you're going to feel the most comfortable with. If you don't feel comfortable holding the yarn in your left hand, you can try English style knitting, which is linked below. To begin, make a slip knot and then long tail cast on 14 more stitches so that we have 15 stitches total to practice on. I've just finished long tail cast on for 15 stitches and I have this needle here in my right hand. But to begin knitting, I actually need to switch this needle full of stitches into my left hand and my empty needle I can pick up in my right hand. Before I begin knitting, I wanna make sure that my stitches are all scooched up so that they are closer to the end of the needle. I don't want them on this tapered part here. If I put them on the tapered part, my stitches will be really small and then really tight, which will make it hard to knit. The other thing that I need to do is make sure that my tail yarn is out of the way. I want to make sure that I'm always knitting with my yarn coming from the ball. To make the knit stitch, I'm gonna take my empty right-handed needle and I'm going to work with this first stitch here. So coming from the left-hand side, I'm going to slide into the stitch so that my right-hand needle crosses to the back. I'll show you that again. Coming from this side, I'm going to slide into the stitch so that my needle crosses to the back. Let's also look at what that looks like from the top. So slide into the stitch, and cross to the back. You can see that I'm fully in to this stitch here. Next, we're going to need to grab onto our yarn with our left hand. So I like to use my right hand to pinch onto this crisscross and hold it into place. Then with my left hand, I am free to pick up my yarn. Everyone has a different method on what feels comfortable for them, but I like to hold the yarn here in these three fingers and then use my pointer finger, I come underneath it to tension it. Next, I need to actually grab onto my yarn. So what I'm gonna do is with my right hand needle, I'm gonna come around and scoop this yarn. Sometimes continental method is called picking because we just pick up our yarn. So we're already in the stitch, we're gonna come around and pick up this yarn. The next step has always been the trickiest for me, so don't worry if it's pretty troublesome right now. Just take it slow. What we need to do is pull this yarn back through the first stitch. The way we do that is slide our right hand needle down just a little bit, and you can pinch onto this uh, yarn here. And then what we're going to do is scoop this yarn back through our first stitch. I can show you that again. So we've wrapped it around and then we're going to slide down and scoop back through that stitch. The last step here is an easy one. You're just going to slide that stitch off the left hand needle and on to the right hand needle. Tension is the name of the game when it comes to continental knitting. So just keep practicing until it feels more comfortable. Let's try that knit stitch again. So now we're looking at the second stitch here. Again, we're coming from the left-hand side into the stitch and cross to the back. Now I'm gonna make sure my yarn is a little bit lengthier. With my right-hand needle, I'm going to pick that stitch up. Then I'm going to slide back through and scoop it through my stitch. The last step is to slide it off the needle and onto the right hand needle. Keep on working these knit stitches all the way across until you get to the very last stitch. The last stitch is worked exactly the same as the others. Coming from the side, crisscross to the back, pick your yarn, you're definitely gonna have to hold on to it, and then slide it back through that last stitch and off. You're left with an empty needle in your left hand and a needle full of stitches in your right. To start the second row, all we need to do is switch these needles in our hands. The empty needle goes into the right hand and the needle with our stitches goes into the left hand. But before we begin, I always like to check on my stitches. I'm going to make sure that all of the stitches are dropping down below the needle. 
I'm also going to especially check on this first stitch here. Right now, the yarn from the ball pulls down into the front, and I can only see one stitch here, which is correct. However, it can be easy to have this yarn going to the back of the needle, and you can see that created two stitches here. As a beginner, it's really easy to accidentally add more stitches. So one way to prevent this is to always check on your first stitch. Make sure that yarn is hanging down to the front and make sure this loop is always pushed down and out of the way. It's going to look a little bit loose, but once you start your next row, it will tighten up. The second row and all the other rows begin exactly the same and they're just like the first row. So go into this first stitch and cross to the back and then grab onto your yarn. Come around, pick that yarn, slide down, pull through and off. Into the stitch and cross to the back. Come around and scoop, pick that yarn, scoop through and slide it off. As you get more comfortable, you don't have to do as big of movements. You can just come through, pick your yarn, and scoop it back through. Now that we've done the knit stitch on straight needles, let's see what it looks like on circular needles. To begin, make a slip knot and then long tail cast on until you get to 15 stitches. Once you've finished your long tail cast on, your needle with all the stitches on it is going to be in your right hand. We actually just need to switch this into your left hand and then your right hand will be free to pick up that empty needle. Now before we get started, I like to slide my stitches up so they're closer to the end of the needle. We don't want them off on the needle tip like that one just was because it will make our stitches too small and too tight. We just want them to come to where it's still round but not quite at the tapered part. One other element at play when we are continental knitting with circular needles is that our yarn can easily become tangled in this cord. So you want to make sure if you're continental knitting that your yarn from the ball, ball is also pulled out to the back and not wrapped around your cord in any way. To begin, take your empty right hand needle and we're gonna work this first stitch. Coming from the left side, we're gonna slide into the stitch and so that it crisscrosses to the back. So I'll show that again. Slide into the stitch so that it crosses to the back. Let's see what that looks like from the top as well. So sliding into the stitch so that it crosses to the back and I'm completely in that stitch. Now we need to pick up our yarn with our left hand. So I like to take my right hand and pinch that crisscross in order to hold it. I'm gonna take my yarn here in the back and I like to grab mine between these three fingers to tension it, and then I'll use my pointer finger to dive underneath and give myself a little more tension. Everyone has a different method, so it's good to experiment until you find something that works for you. With my free three fingers, I like to grab it here. With my pointer finger, I come underneath to give it some tension. This next part for me is the trickiest bit, so don't worry if you have to try this a couple of times. With our right hand needle, we're going to pick this yarn that's back here. Come around the outside and just scoop it up like that. So again, coming around the outside, we're gonna just scoop it up so that it's on our right hand needle. Then we need to get this yarn back through that first stitch. So you slide your right hand needle down just a little bit. I like to use my pointer finger to hold on to it so that I can slide it through this first stitch here. So let's look at that again. I've already wrapped the yarn around my needle, then I need to slide and scoop it back through that first stitch. The next step is really easy. We just slide our stitch off the left hand needle and onto the right hand needle. Now we're ready to work our second stitch. So with my second stitch, I'm gonna come from this side again with my right hand needle crisscross to the back. I'm going to come around my yarn and pick it up, and then I'm gonna slide it down and scoop back through that stitch, and finally slide it off and onto the right hand needle. Continue to work knit stitches 
all the way across until you get to the very last stitch. The last stitch is worked just like the others. Coming from this side, put your right needle in and crisscross to the back. Pick your yarn, slide down and scoop through and slide off. You're left with an empty needle in your left hand and a needle full of stitches in your right hand. To start the next row, all we need to do is flip flop these needles. The needle full of stitches goes into your left hand and the empty needle goes into your right hand. You also might want to untangle yourself from that yarn. Now before I begin a new row, I like to drop that empty needle and check on these stitches. I want to make sure they're all coming down below the needle and not twisted. I also need to check this first stitch especially. Right now I have my yarn from the ball pulling down to the front, and that's exactly how we need it to be. But look what happens if I accidentally have it going to the back. It actually creates two stitches out of one. This is a really easy mistake we can make as beginners and add stitches onto our knitting. So make sure that that is hanging down to the front and that this is out of the way. This may look loose now, but when we start our next row, it will get tightened up. Our second row and all the rows after it are just like the first row. So slide your stitches down so they're almost to the tapered end of the needle. Dive into that stitch and cross to the back. Pick your yarn, slide down, and scoop through. Keep going, knitting all the stitches on the second row. So let's talk about what happens if you ever set your circular knitting needles down and you don't know which side to begin with. I'm always going to look for the yarn coming from the ball and I'm going to slide my knitting in that direction up on to the needles. From there, I always just need to put the needle full of stitches into my left hand and my empty needle into my right hand and I'll be able to start a new row. Now you know how to work the continental knit stitch on both straight and circular needles. If this method does not feel comfortable for you, you might wanna check out the English style knitting. English style holds the yarn in your right hand and it might be a better fit for you. You can find that linked in the description box below. Happy knitting!